So tell us about Together Saving Paws, which is one of your passion projects. Yeah. So Together Saving Paws is my nonprofit. I started it in 2021. It is a 501c3. And we focus on a couple areas. I don't know if that's what you want me to get into mm -hmm. now. So mm -hmm. One of the areas we focus on is we have teamed up with Operation Underground Railroad, who is one of the largest helping with human trafficking internationally and nationally. So they help rescue, you know, people, children, mostly children and women out of the human trafficking aspect. Mm -hmm. um, they have an aftercare program. When women and children come out of being trafficked, they try to help get them rehabilitated back into society. So they'll get them jobs, get them lined up, you know, work with getting their papers if they're from another country birth certificates, all that, so they can get back into the the life. So what we wanted to do is we're like, man, how can we help with human trafficking? So we will work with local rescues. I am not a rescue. I don't rescue dogs. But I will work with local rescues to find a dog that we think would be a good match. I have a trainer that trains that dog to become an emotional support, and we're placing that dog with a survivor out of human trafficking. So we like to say we're saving two souls at one time. Right. I mean, if anybody has a dog, you know, the compassion only the dog can mm -hmm. show you. You're gone for five minutes. It's like you've been gone for an eternity. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Um, so that's one area we focus in. And the other area we focus in is we will provide the ballistic vests, the bulletproof vests for canines and law enforcement across the country. So and we've so far been able to, we're in the process or have donated 37 vests. Wow. So those okay. are the, the two main areas that we focus on. Amazing. So how did how did this come about? What yeah. what what's brought all this together? So as a child, I've always been an animal lover. Mm -hmm. And as a child, I always wanted to have a no kill shelter. Like I thought it'd be so cool to be able to have a no kill shelter. Well, as I grew up and looked into it, it's very expensive to have a no kill shelter. You gotta hire veterinarians, you gotta have the right people in place, the facilities, it's, there's a lot to it. So I was like, okay, let's switch gears. Mm -hmm. And that's when I came up, well, let's do a nonprofit. And originally, my nonprofit was going to be raising funds and money and food to be able to give to those no-kill shelters. Okay. But then I, through a real estate mastermind, I actually met Tim Ballard, who at the time was the CEO and founder of Operation Underground Railroad. Mm -hmm. And that's where it clicked, like, man, how can I work with them? And I, I work with them in two areas. I also work with them in their canines, and I can get into that in a little bit about okay. what those their, those canines are a little bit different than your narcotic and apprehension canines. Okay. So tell us, so you met Tim Ballard, right? Mm -hmm. um, very familiar with Operation. Very familiar with Tim know. Ballard, right? Yes. Um, and everything that they do because yeah. our mastermind really worked with them pretty extensively and closely as well. So he started... You started this in 2021. Yes. What's, what's your ultimate goal? Eve? My ultimate goal is to never say no to a survivor who wants a dog and never say no to a police officer that needs a vest for their canine. Okay. Those are my, I never, ever want to have to tell them, no, I don't have the funds to help you. So my goal is to raise enough funds where that's never an issue. I grew up, my family, um, I grew up always supporting law enforcement. I was raised properly, and I don't mean that in derogatory way to the others that don't support police officers. But I was raised to respect and back the blue. Not that every police right. officer is perfect, right. but that's what I, I've always been raised to do. So I have, and the dogs, like to be able to, those dogs, my gosh, you talk to any handler, a canine handler, those canines to them, they're partners. They're not dogs. Mm -hmm. They literally put their life on the line for their canine. So I want to make sure they're protected. So, yeah. So uh, 